Hi, how are you today? I'm so glad you have opened up this video because I have a really simple teaching to share with you today that is really, really powerful. So one of the invitations that I have for you is to join Vision Quest, the online program. The benefits of creating this sacred creative practice of delving into the four earth elements and learning the language of sacred symbols is transformative and life-changing. And I want to share with you one of the benefits that you will receive and in the process um, introduce maybe perhaps a new idea to you. So Vision Quest is about getting out of your normal, about doing something different that is going to lead to new experiences and new awareness about yourself, what's available to you, how you think about things, the stories you're telling yourself about what is practical or within your reach and what is not. We have stories around the way things should be done. We have fears based on this imaginary, outdated uh, definition of what a good something is. And it's so easy to learn how in each moment to take a step back and observe where you are keeping yourself separate from something that you really, really, really want to experience. I know throughout your life you have experienced a lot of shifts and changes, right? There are things that you have done now in your life that 20 years ago maybe you wouldn't have imagined or you didn't know was possible. And I am guessing that perhaps you're at another one of those thresholds. And usually when we're on a threshold, the um, guardian of fear is standing there. And fear is there not to push you away, not to tell you all the reasons why you're not good enough or why this isn't available to you. Fear is there to bring you present, to kind of make sure like your mom before you went out the door for school, do you have your homework? Do you have your lunch? Do you have, you know, your milk money? Um, fear is there simply to make sure that you're prepared, right? And too often we allow that guardian to stop us. So let me introduce to you a very simple concept and then I would love for you to comment below and I do want to invite you to join Vision Quest, the Creatively Fit program. So I want you to imagine a triangle, okay? Um, I've said often and I believe it to be true that at any given moment we're either coming from fear or love. That is um, a, a popular teaching from the book A Course in Miracles. The other thing I realized once spontaneously is that there is another paradigm that kind of overlaps that one. And um, the, the triangle is the symbol that I use um, to illustrate this. So I believe that at any given moment, we're either doing one of three things. We are either giving away our power, and I'll explain what that means a little bit, we are either, if we're not giving away our power, we're taking away our power, or we're standing in our power. So I remember not really understanding what that all meant, being in my power. So being in your power can be when you feel confident, um, when you feel sovereign, when you feel like you are able to create what you want, express yourself, speak your truth in any given situation. When we're giving away our power, what we're doing is we're allowing something outside of ourselves to dictate what is going on within. So here's an easy example that I discussed at one point with one of my creatively fit coaches. She did a lot of NGO work in Africa and so spent a lot of time on the airplanes and she was um, really wanting to change that job and recounting how um, the crying babies on the plane were really, you know, robbed her of sleep and da 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 da. So I pointed out to her that she was giving away her power to the baby, right? She was letting that crying baby have more power than her ability to send it blessings and just kind of disconnect from the sound. You all know how that's possible, right? And go to sleep. 
Um, another example is often in my painting workshops and my online programs and the coaching I do, someone will tell me how they have a hard time painting over their canvas or these first layers because they're afraid of making a mistake or messing it up. So that's a very common thing to say. Most people don't think anything of it. But what I always encourage people to do, and this is something that you develop in Vision Quest, is to ask, like, says who? Like, what is the intention here? Am I trying to create something that someone else is holding up um, as this is what I must create? Am I creating something that's going to hang on a gallery wall or solve world hunger? Like, how do you mess up something that just is, that's part of your experience? And anyone who's painting with me knows that they're painting for the process. Now, I love a finished pretty picture as much as the next person. And the greatest treasure that I have received from what I teach personally is the sense of just peace and calm and the ability to receive what life is giving me from a place of power and then choose how I react um, or how I act in the situation. So just last night I was teaching and someone said, I'm afraid of messing it up. I'm like, well, what, like, what is the finished product that you're so afraid of messing up? Like, what is that? So it doesn't take much to realize where we're giving away our power. We have this programming from a elementary school art class or a conversation around the dinner table that there's good and bad, right or wrong, there are A's and B's and C's, and you need to perform and create and produce valuable things in order to be loved. What if there were no mistakes? So in that moment, when I asked her that, she took back her power. She was giving away her power to this idea that there was a right and a wrong way to paint. And then she took it back when she realized, oh, right, like this is just, I'm here in a painting meditation class. I'm here to relax. I'm here to explore. I'm here to rechild myself. And then she took back that power. After that, she was painting in her power. So here's the thing I love about this, um, this triangle and this awareness that at any given moment, we're either giving away our power, taking back our power, or standing in our power. I think you could agree that you would always love to be in your power, right? I mean, who wouldn't want to be? The way we're in our power is because we've taken back power. You know, we used to seek recognition from other people. We used to seek recognition from our parents or from our high school boyfriend or the coach in high school. And then we took back that power and now we're a little more comfortable with our own self-praise. I know you've experienced situations or experiences like that. So to be in our power or to take back our power, what's the third necessary ingredient um, in this experience? Giving away our power. So as soon as you realize that you're giving away your power, wow, I'm telling myself that at my age, I can't learn how to paraglide or travel to Guatemala to go flying and create an online course, everything that I'm about to do. Who does that? What mother of three at age 48 does those things? Well, I do. I could give away my power to kind of the cultural norms and society's expectations, or I could realize where I might be missing out on some really super adventures that on my deathbed, I will be like, Ugh, I did some amazing things and experienced some amazing adventures. I take back my power and say, I get to live life my way as a life artist. I am the artist of my life. I get to choose the stories I tell myself, how I define myself, what I get to do with my life. I have a full palette and where we have given away our power is where we've allowed someone else to tell us that this is not good or this is not worthy or this is not valuable. You don't even know who those people are anymore. They're just these voices in our head. Like Don Miguel Ruiz in his book, The Four Agreements says that the art we're each creating is our life and we're either doing it with or without awareness. I want to help you create awareness so that you can live your most inspired life and be able to look at the thoughts and the ideas and the definitions and the, the expectations of what's good or bad or right or wrong that you have inside your mind that have simply been, you know, kind of fed to you by exterior um, circumstances or personalities. This is the time right now to take back your power to live as a life artist 
creating each moment and each day your way. And Vision Quest is an invitation into this awareness. There are four modules guided by the four earth elements. You paint 15 paintings. You learn sacred symbols and so much more. There is a community of people that are so connected on the Facebook page, the four group calls, and in our online studio. So I want to ask you to click visionquestcreatively.com, watch some of the other videos, feel into it, and just ask yourself, am I ready to take back even more of my power? And if you are, I want to welcome you into the circle that is Vision Quest. So remember, the triangle, at any given moment, you are either taking back your power, giving away your power, or standing in your power. Let's take back as much power as possible. It is time. If not now, when? See you there. Bye.